So we'll do a few examples for our logarithms. The first question is 4 to the power of x minus 2 equals to 2 over 32 power to the power of x minus 5. For this sort of question, we'll do by changing all three numbers to the same base. For 4, 2, and 32, the same base will be 2. So 4 is 2 to the power of 2, and we'll continue with x minus 2. 2 will continue to be 2, while 32 will be 2 to the power of 5. Next, we'll proceed with multiplying the powers. And for this one, we'll change them to 1, 2 only. So 2 for division according to the laws of indices, division will di proceed into minus. So 1 minus 5x because 5, mi 5 times x, well, plus 25 because 5 times 5 25 while well, this minus will become plus after minus minus becomes plus so now we'll proceed by um, changing these powers into a simple form so 2 to the power of 26 minus 5x Okay, so now both of them have the same base. We can just equate the power. So 2x minus 4 is equal to 26 minus 5x. Now we group the similar ones together. So 2x plus 5x is equal to 26 plus 4, which will be very simple now. 7x is equal to 30, thus x is equal to 30 over 7. So for this sort of question, we change them into the same base. After they have the same base, we'll equate the powers. We'll equate the powers. Because both of them have the same base. Okay, so now we go into the second question. So for the second question, it's like this. 3 times 2 to the power of x plus 1. Note that this black spot is actually multiplied. Plus 2 to the power of x equals to 14. So what we can do is we separate this 2 to the power of x and 2 to the power of 1. So it will become 2 to the power of x times 2 to the power of 1 because according to it, 2 to the power of x times 2 to the power of 1, when they both have the same basis, we can add the, mod, add the powers together, so x plus 1. So we separate it into this form. Plus 2 to the power of x equals to 14. So you can't change them all into the same basis, because 14 and 3 can't turn into 2. So what we can do is, we factorize the 2 to the power of x out. When both of them have the same number here, same figure here, we can factorize it out. 2 to the power of x, so 3 times 2 plus 1. For 2 to the power of 1, you actually don't have to write the power 1 here. So it goes to 14. 3 times 2 plus 1, we have 7. So 2 to the power of x times 7 equals to 14. What we'll get is 2 to the power of x equals to 14 over 7. Thus, now what we can do now is... Um, so 14 divided by 7 is 2 so 2 to the power of x equals to 2 both of them have the same basis so we equate the powers so x is equal to when 2 is on its own that means the power is 1 so x is equal to 1 so this is how we get the answer okay so now we go into example 3. For example 3, 2 to the power of x plus 1 is equal to 3x. And the question requires you to write the answer in 3 decimal places. So what we can do now is lock both sides. We take 
log 10 on both sides. So log 10 to the power 2 x plus 1 goes to log 10 3 to the power of x. Now, according to laws of logarithms, for the power, we can put it in front to multiply the logs. So x plus 1 multiply log to the power of log 10 to the power of log 10 2 is equal to this x, we put it in front, so x log 10 3. This means x multiply log 10 3. So now we multiply this x plus 1 into this log 2. So x log 2 plus log 2. So x log 3. So now what we can do is we group the similar ones together. Both of them have axes, so we add the add, put the axis one together. So it's log 2 minus log 3 is equals to negative log 2. So lastly, we factorize the x out. So minus log 3 is equal to negative log 2. Now we put this log 2 minus log 3 over here. So x is equal to negative log 2 over log 2 minus log 3. And by using the calculator, we'll get the answer as 1.710. Remember to put it in three decimal places as the question required. So and lastly, we go to the fourth example. Example four. For example four, you are asked to solve the equation 2 log 2x minus 2 is equal to log 2x minus 1. For this question, we can what we should do is we group the logs together first. So two log x minus log minus one is equal to two. Next, we'll put the power. I mean this two to become the power according to the laws of logarithms. So log two x to the power of two minus log. 2x minus 1 equals to 2. So now, according to the laws of logarithms, if it's a subtraction, it will become a division if we only keep one log. So x squared over x minus 1 is equal to 2. So according to the laws of logarithms, a when a is equal to when a is equal to b to the power of c, it will become log b a equals to c. Therefore, x squared to power x squared over x minus one is equal to two to the power of two. Lastly, x squared will become four times x minus one as we throw this over this side. So we group them together to become a quadratic equation. So x squared minus four x plus four equals to zero. We factorize it. That's x minus 2, x minus 2. x minus 2 multiply x minus 2 equals to 0. And we'll get x equals to 2. According to the factorization. So this is the four examples, four main type of questions for logarithms.